February 18th, 2018. The five of us went out to the woods looking for any kind of weird creatures. We were prepared for basically anything. We had shotguns, 9mm pistols, one of us even had night vision goggles. It was around 11 p.m. when we began the hunt. At first it went as you'd expect it, talking, making jokes, drinking some coke. We didn't expect anything to happen, but after around two hours of looking, we heard a kind of noise. Not a noise that you'd typically hear in the woods. It was like a, a scream, a non-human scream. It came from far away, but you could hear it like it came from right next to you. We all shivered and shit our pants. Mike, my best friend, asked, are we sure about this shit? Cause I'm kind of starting to shit my pants. Aaron, another friend of mine, said, Yeah, I'm kind of scared too. But we decided to ignore that and continue. I wish we stayed back. After a while, we noticed that Josh was missing. We looked for him everywhere, but we had no luck. We called the police and... The next day, the forever lasting search began. February 19th, 2018. The search began, but nothing. We thought he was found when someone blew their whistle. We ran there as fast as we could. They found a, a shirt sock and a shotgun. We knew they belonged to Josh. He had the exact same clothes and shotgun that laid there. We feared the worst. But after three months of searching, nothing was found. May 12th, 2018. The four of us get a call from the police department. We thought that he had been found. All they told us on the phone was we need to get down to the police department. When we got there, we were greeted by the chief of police. He told us that Josh is probably dead by now and they have to call off the search. We were sad but knew that they did the right thing. Did I say we? I met my three friends. I couldn't accept that they just gave up on him. So I wanted to search for him by myself. January 15th, 2023. For the past several years, I've been saving up my money for equipment. I brought a fully automatic rifle, a sniper rifle, night vision goggles, body armor, anything you can imagine. I went out to those woods looking for Josh. After about 30 minutes of searching, I heard that same scream that I did five years ago. I went towards it. All of a sudden, I saw a head pop out from behind a tree. I didn't even hesitate to shoot at it. At least one bullet must have hit it because it let out a scream and ran away. That same scream. I was shocked but followed it and what I saw next shook me for life. 
I didn't have to follow it for long. Only for four to five minutes. It walked, jumped down from a tree while holding something. And then I realized it was Josh. It was holding Josh. At least what remained of him. It threw him at me and, and ran away. I took a look at Josh's body. He was covered in blood. But it was like he was saying something. Whispering. I couldn't quite understand at first, but then I realized. He said, One. Next thing I know, that something screamed again. I ran away, but tripped on a rock and lost consciousness. The hospital room. I woke up in a hospital room with my left leg missing. I heard a voice say, Oh, good, you're awake. It was the doctor. He said screams were heard from the woods, so they sent the police officers to check it out. They found me missing a left leg. I looked at my body and saw scratches and bite marks all over me. I asked him what all that was about. He said he didn't know. So here I am in a hospital room, writing, hoping that someone believes me. And as for Josh, they recovered his body too. At least his head. Nothing else was found. And it remains a mystery that what was that thing that killed Josh and almost killed me?